Hey there. Hey, I got everything you field agent types need. Even a few Tinker Tom specialities. <laughs> what do you have in stock? Well, it changes, depending on what's on hand. Uh, we lost everything when the switchboard went lights out. Hopefully our agents score more supplies in the field, so me and my boys can, you know, make even more toys. Wanna see what we got? I don't need anything, Tom. Then you go back to doing what you do. <coughs> hey there. Are you new in town? Welcome to my shop. You'll find everything you need here. Weapons, ammo, meds, junk. We've, uh, got a pretty good Geiger counter. Do, uh, do you have a Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. Oh, thank God! You're with them, aren't you? I've been waiting for one of you to come by for so long. We can't talk here. Can you meet me in my hut? Say unclear to you. How are you doing, Barney? Yeah, thanks for listening. But don't think we're gonna start a knitting circle or anything, okay? If you see a crime, report it. If you're talking to me, you must have a crime to report. What is it? What's the security like around here? Now you're asking questions I'd like to answer. Fourville security is in tip-top shape. What I got here is in shambles. But a bit of military discipline whipped him right into shape. <laughs> you were a soldier? With what army? Ah, this was a long time ago. I lived out west. It was all very boring, really. Just filing work. But, it was discipline. You better believe it. I was in the army. You were. And I'm sure you appreciate that sometimes the reality of service aren't as glorious as they look in the posters. Got that right. Seems no matter what you do, innocent people get hurt. I left all my army days behind. And I'd appreciate it if you didn't mention our little chat to anyone. Veteran to veteran. Excuse me. Hello there. What can I do for you today? Tell me more about this vault. If it wasn't for this vault, this town wouldn't exist. Pioneering heroes built this town waiting for it to open, but it never did. I told people this during my election campaign four years ago. I believe the vault will open in my lifetime, and I will do anything I can to make it so. Nothing else for now. You come back anytime, you hear? I hope you're keeping out of trouble. Roscoe is such a hard ass. Why won't he lighten up just for once? Fourville Security, Security is, is here, here for, you. for you. Excuse me. Why, howdy there. Pleased to meet ya. Name's Deputy Chief Security Officer Sanders. But y'all can call me Sarah. What do you do around here? 
Well, as deputy chief, I'm in charge of all kinds of things. Pa says I'm real gifted. And Roscoe says that I'm just too important to leave the HQ. I think it's safe to say that the whole place would fall apart without me. My main work at the moment is dealing with outstanding bounties. Say, I just had a bright idea. How'd you like to help me out with my work? I want to hear the details first. It's dirty work, I won't lie. The people we're talking about are real terrors, and they need to be put down. If you can take down the people I send you after and bring me back some proof, I'm authorized to pay you a bounty. I do a job. I get paid. Of course. For each criminal you sort out, I can pay you a bounty. Yeah. I'll do it. That's real good news. First one I've got is a real troublemaker. Swung through town a couple months back and did all kinds of damage in the bar. Dirty rascal he was. Looked like he'd crawled out of the gutter or something. That must be how he got his nickname. Gunner Garfunkel, his name is. If you can deal with him and bring me back some proof, I can pay you the bounty. Hey. You wait got there. Undivided attention. Head over there. Of course, my dear. <laughs> yes, my dear. Any other advice? I don't know what you're expecting to get out of this partnership, but that doesn't really matter, does it? All that matters is what you're willing to give. How do you think things are between us? As long as we travel together, the two of us are fine. It's not the things you do that impress me, it's that you manage to survive while doing them. Any words of wisdom? When you're a socialite, you learn to do a lot of things. You learn to dance like Fred Astaire, you learn to smile like Chaplin, and drink like Sinatra. None of it is useful in the real world, of course, but what is? Doctors help us live, artists teach us how. Oh, nothing. Paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. I hope you're keeping out of trouble. Forville Security is here for you. <clears throat> I need to ask you something. I hope Mainlanders did better than my regulars. What you need? What do you have to drink? All sorts of old world booze. We carry Vim, too. And before you ask, Vim is an Islander favorite. But it may pack more punch than the stuff you're used to. I'm still deciding. Take your time. Crawler, what for? Courtesy of the Dolphins. Try my world famous sweet rolls. Watch out, they're the a chance. Buy my guns. If you see a crime, report it. <coughs> well, hello, dearie. Welcome to my little cafe. How about a sweet roll on the house since you're a new customer? Just be careful, they're addictive. I run this cafe. It's a full-time job keeping all these hungry bellies fed. But it's my calling. What do you sell here? Only the best food. All home cooked. I don't think you'll find a better, fresher selection anywhere in the wasteland. Looking for a job, if you got one. Hmm. I suppose you can do me a little favor. I baked Dr. Huxley a little bowl of cookies. 
The poor dear works so hard and I know how much he loves these cookies. I just don't have the time to take them over myself. It'll only take a second. He works across the way from me. Thank you so much, sweetheart. If you see a crime, report it. Hi. I'm very busy right now. Please leave me alone. Hi. Always nice to meet a new customer. Name's Mike. Just Mike, not Michael or Mickey. No surname, just Mike. Got that? You want guns, I've got guns. You want work, I've got work. What'll it be? I'm interested in the history of this place. You're better off asking at the museum if you want to know stuff about that. Sure, I got work for you. Let me give you the rundown, and if you're interested, you can start right away. It's pretty simple stuff. I'll give you a shipment of weapons, you take them to a client, and you come back here and pick up your payment. If you're interested, we can hash out a contract right here and you get started. The base rate is 100 caps per job. How's that sound? I'd have been surprised if you said anything other than that. No one ever accepts the base rate. I'll put you down the real money. 200 caps. Only 200 caps? You can do better. Alright, I get it. You won't work for the chump change. I'll put you on the special rate. 300 caps. Just make sure you're worth the money. I want more details than that. Let's just say that if I find you an effective worker, there could be a little more to this later down the line. Is that good enough? If you can't put real, real money on the table, I'm out. You drive a hard bargain. The absolute most I can give you is 500 caps a job. It's take it or leave it time. Alright. Let's get started. Glad to have you on board. Here's the first shipment. Take it to the buyer, and then come back to me during work hours to collect your payment. I look forward to a long and fruitful business partnership. Excuse me. Hey, I got everything you field agent types need. Even a few Tinker Tom specialities. <laughs> what do you have in stock? Well, it changes, depending on what's on hand. Though we lost everything when the switchboard went lights out. Hopefully our agents score more supplies in the field so me and my boys can, you know, make even more toys. Wanna see what we got? I'll take a look. Made a new batch of whatnots for you. Best guns in the Commonwealth sold here. Hey. Well, it was quite a feat to rescue Rex from those super mutants. I was just glad I got there in time. Oh, so am I. Are you blushing? That's so adorable. Fire guns from someone who knows how to use them. Me. I hope you're keeping out of trouble.
Forville Security is here for you. Hey there. You're with the railroad, aren't you? I really need your help. Yeah, I'm with the railroad. I can hardly believe it. I, I wasn't even sure you guys really existed. I'd heard rumors, but to see you standing here right now is... I really need help. I'm desperate. The thing is, I'm a synth. I was sent to the surface to impersonate this woman, this Betty. But something went wrong. My memories of her life weren't imprinted properly. They faded, and I realized what I was, and I don't want to be Betty anymore. I want out. You people are the only ones fighting the Institute. If anyone can help me, it's you. I'm just so afraid. Don't worry. I'll keep you safe. Thank you. It makes me feel a lot better hearing you say that. I've heard you'll be able to give me a new identity? To move me somewhere safe? The thing is, I don't want the memory wipe. Not yet, at least. I don't think it's right. This woman I replaced, this Betty, she had a real life. She had friends, family, memories, experiences. If I get a memory wipe, then all that will be gone. That poor woman's whole life deleted. What can I do to fix the problem? I want you to help me make sure Betty's memories aren't lost forever. When Betty's memories started to disappear, I fled to Fourville to make a new life. But I can remember that I, or Betty, used to make holotape journals a lot. She used to wander the Commonwealth with one of the caravans out of Bunker Hill and hide journals as she went, like time capsules. Maybe if you start at Bunker Hill, you can find them? Once I know Betty's memories are safe, then I'll get a mind wipe. Hi. Hello there. What can I do for you today? I'm interested in the history of this place. Like I told you, visit the museum and the site of the original settlement and you'll learn everything you need to know. Nothing else for now. You come back anytime, you hear? say unclear to you tell me what I'm supposed to be doing again God grant me patience it's simple there are five terminals around town five like the number of fingers you've got on one hand okay go activate them and the turrets should reboot turrets shoot bullets my alerts are allergic to bullets make sense Einstein You're keeping out of trouble. Hey there. Are you here for a tip? I've got good stuff, I promise you. Let's hear it. Only the best tips for you. Stay on Chief Roscoe's good side. He's all business. Admit it, you'd be lost without me. I should study my lines. Not today. Yeah, you're a loss. Forville Security is here for you.
best guns in the Commonwealth sold here. Don't take a chance. Buy my guns. Hmm, a new patient. I should be able to accommodate you, but you're going to have to pay, since you don't pay taxes here. You're a super mutant. What else could I be looking like this? Yes, I'm a super mutant. But there's much more to me than that, you know. I have something for you. A fresh batch of cookies from Lorraine? Thank you so much. She really is a lovely woman, isn't she? Make sure to give her my thanks, will you? Such a sweet lady. What do you do around here? I'm the town doctor. I can fix your cuts, scrapes, breaks, addictions. So, why don't you hate humans like the rest of your kind seem to? Uh, I moved to the East Coast to get away from the prejudice. But it seems like it's the same wherever I go. Not all super mutants are violent idiots, you know. The second generation ones might be, but not me. Not a lot of my brothers, actually. was wondering if there was anything you needed help with. No. No, I'm just fine, thank you. Do you need my help? Are you really a doctor? Yes, I'm really a doctor. Why would you assume I wasn't? I'm a doctor with 250 years experience with humans, animals, and mutants. Now... Do you want to make use of my services or not? I should get going. Very well. You stay safe now. Hey. Hello there. What can I do for you today? Tell me about yourself. Not much to tell. As mayor, I look after the whole town. My daughter Sarah, especially. Her mother died when she was just a kid. Murdered. So, times have been tough for us. Sarah and I don't talk as much as I'd like, but that's my problem, not yours. Nothing else for now. You come back anytime, you hear? Fresh flowers. Who's writing this place off? 